about a year and a half ago, I got assigned uh, to Bricktown, and and one of my goals was really to improve the entertainment district with the police department. We want the citizens of Oklahoma City to feel like Bricktown is a safe place to come and to hang out during the day. It's a great place to come eat, spend time with your family, uh, go to a ball game, eat ice cream, go see a movie. There's just tons of things to do in Bricktown. And then at night, it turns into an entertainment district. And so, you know, we have anywhere from 10 to 15 clubs open at any given time. And those clubs allow for um, a different aspect of Oklahoma City, a nightlife where um, residents come, out of town people come, and they have a good time. And we want to encourage that. We want people to come to Bricktown uh, to have a good time. But we also recognize that, you know, when those venues let out and people have consumed alcohol, uh, we, we recognize that, you know, it's, there's, there's possibility of some problems. And so we want to make sure that we have enough police presence, enough police officers uh, in, in Bricktown when the clubs let out to make sure that the environment is safe. And the way we do that is we bring in, we have an overtime program, and we essentially triple our staff every Friday and Saturday night. These nightclubs will have, uh, you know, several hundred people in their club, and, you know, we want to help them to know what to do in cer certain situations. So what we've done is we've partnered with, so far we've partnered with one nightclub, we have the second one on board, um, and so we use a lot of our um, assets that we have within the police department. We have a lot of highly skilled police officers that have received a lot of training, and so we can offer that to our, our partner nightclubs and, and bars in the entertainment district um, as a way uh, to educate them on such things as what to look for for people coming into the club, what happens when things go on inside the club, how they, they can respond. You know, there's always room for improvement, and we want to come alongside them as they look for those ways to improve. The stakeholders in Bricktown are, are, are imperative uh, to what we're doing, and it's really a team effort. Um, we're, we're working together as a team to make Bricktown a better place. So another thing that the Bricktown Association does is they've contracted with a company called uh, Block by Block, and they've branded them here in Bricktown called the Green Team. The business owners and property owners pay into, and it pays for cleaning services, security services, and actually homeless outreach. And one of the things that we've done in our partnership with the Bricktown Association and the stakeholders in Bricktown is we've created an off-duty program and it's completely funded by the Bricktown Association. And essentially what it does is on strategic nights, nights that we know there's going to be a lot of people in Bricktown, we bring in two additional officers and those officers, their job is strictly to make contacts with the visitors of Bricktown. We just want them down here handing out stickers, greeting people. We want them to interact with as many people as possible. So when people come to Bricktown, they see a friendly, smiling face on a police officer and know that this is a safe place to be.